Let's switch for a moment from uh, counterintelligence to crime fighting. In 2020, there was a 29% jump in murder in the United States, nearly 5,000 more people killed than the year before. What is behind this leap in homicide? Certainly, the pandemic didn't help. There's a variety of ways in which that contributed to it. Uh, we're seeing more and more juveniles committing violent crime, and that's certainly an issue. We're seeing uh, a, a, a certain amount of, uh, of gun trafficking, interstate gun trafficking, that's part of it. And we're seeing uh, an alarming frequency of some of the worst of the worst getting back out on the streets. In 2021, there was a 59% increase in the murders of police officers, 73 officers killed. Violence against law enforcement in this country is one of the biggest phenomenons that I think doesn't get enough attention. Last year, officers were being killed at a rate of almost one every five days. But why are more officers being killed right now? Some of it is tied to the violent crime problem uh, as a whole. But one of the phenomena that we saw uh, in last year is that an alarming percentage of the 73 law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty last year were killed through things like being ambushed uh, or shot while out on patrol. They were killed because they were police officers. Right. Wearing the badge shouldn't make you a target. Ray lost two FBI agents last year. Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin were shot while executing a search warrant in a child pornography case. I heard about Laura and Dan's murders uh, within uh, really moments of it happening uh, from our Miami field office. Um, and I was on the phone with their spouses uh, within a few hours, and I was in their living rooms the next morning. Um, and uh, my reaction was uh, a, a feeling of ache, um, almost sickness inside um, in my uh, distress. Um, you know, it's the hardest thing I've encountered in this job. Can you say you're making any headway in violent crime? We are working very hard with our partners, state and local law enforcement partners, through task forces, task forces all over the country and through surging rapid deployment teams to try to combat violent crime in specific hotspots. Last year, I think we arrested something like 15,000 violent gang members around the country. And part of what fuels us to pursue this mission is our deep conviction that law enforcement's most sacred duty is to ensure that people can live free from fear in their own homes and neighborhoods. But Mr. Director, some people are in their homes living in fear of the police coming through the door with a no-knock warrant. And I wonder how the FBI can contribute to the reduction of police brutality, which also occurs in our country? Well, we take very seriously our responsibility to both protect the American people and uphold the Constitution. Uh, and that includes, where it happens, uh, going after police misconduct if it violates federal criminal law. 